Hey, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you look on doing well. Welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea news video where I will be talking about Mauricio Sarri wants two Chelsea players, and apparently there's a proposed fee for one of them. Tammy Abraham has confirmed his return date, all but, to the Chelsea side, and why that is so important for Frank Lampard at the moment. A nice few humbling, warm, fuzzy quotes from Christian Pulisic, and there's a reported asking price for long term. Term Chelsea target Wilfried Zaha and a few comments of Roy Hodgson's to sort of indicate he's probably for sale. Lots to keep you updated with, but I want to urge you guys to subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not yet done so. Make sure you do hit the bell notifications icon, and if you want to help me out and have fun in the meantime, go check out Yan Play, subscribe to that. Loads of FIFA fun, just jokes all over the gaff, loads of fun. <laughs> Click the link in the top of the description. Right then, let's get into some Chelsea news. Uh, let's start off with the old lady in Turin, where old smoky Maurizio Sarri is now coaching and he wants to get his mitts on a couple of Chelsea players. I bet everyone's thinking, wow, well Jorginho's one, right? Wrong. One has actually already been reported, it's Willian. Willian can go on a free in the summer and that's what Sari wants. He wants a good technical passing player like Willian that's willing to do a lot of running unlike Ronaldo and will be really effective in Serie A. Willian! Plus, you know, he's on a free so he can give transfer funds to other areas on the pitch. Now, I'm not going to go too much into that. You can check out previous Chelsea news videos in regards to Willian's transfer status from Chelsea and the fact that he actually wants to stay at the club. But who's the second player, I hear you ask? Well, that's left back, Emerson. So yeah, not Jorginho. Emerson is Chelsea's sort of first choice left back. I say sort of because he had been at the end of last season under Sarri, hence wanting him. And sort of also because sometimes Azpilicueta has moved over to the left and reached James's style on the right and that's kind of almost looked like Chelsea's preferred setup. Probably the main reason for Emerson maybe trying to manufacture a move, which is a rumour by the way, is Chelsea being heavily, heavily linked to a left back, the likes of Ben Chilwell, who essentially will be a starting left back. Emerson spent loads of time getting into that starting spot and he has done well for Chelsea there, probably raised his profile a little bit and if he thinks he could be starting for Juventus or another club, he might be trying to push for a move. And apparently, Mauricio Sarri or Juventus have put forward a bid of £20 million, which is probably not enough. I mean, Europa League winner and starting left back for Chelsea has been performing well. I know players exiting the Premier League often don't get that much, it's just bringing them in that costs a lot. But still, £20 million, dude, come on. Watch this space, I'll keep you updated. Next up, let's talk about Christian Pulisic's comments. He was recently quoted when talking about coming to Chelsea and how it felt and this is just a kind of nice message. So here's what the young American said. Just to be in England, to be here in London, playing for Chelsea, it's awesome. I have a confession to make about that actually. This was in the Chelsea match day programme before the West Ham defeat. During the summer I had a short time off after playing for the national team in the Gold Cup. And I had this Chelsea jersey at home that was made for me when I signed back in January. I was wearing it around my house all the time. I just wanted to be here so bad. I wanted to get it all started because I was excited for the challenge. Excited for everything about it. That's nice, isn't it? Christian Pulisic was wearing his Chelsea jersey at home before he even started playing for the club. I wanted to say this story because it is a little feel-good thing because Pulisic is a success story in a more instant immediate sense of what's been happening at Chelsea because he was in then he was out then he scored a hat trick then he scored another couple of goals and he's got a couple of assists and he looks like a tenacious Frank Lampard style forward slash midfielder generally a success so far but before Christian Pulisic came to Chelsea there were heavy links from going to Liverpool the cop the Dortmund connection and all that stuff and people thought does he really want to come to Chelsea does he see the allure really is it just Chelsea making the money move given you know Dortmund money, giving him the money, but it's nice. He was buzzing on playing for Chelsea. Sometimes I have to remind myself Chelsea's in Southwest London and has won the most amount of trophies this decade for an English club. Does have prestige now. So yeah, the feel good fact is certainly there for Captain America and it's good because he's playing incredibly well. So hopefully that keeps going and his feel good factor keeps going and he scores loads of goals this season. Right, Tammy Abraham has been out for Chelsea, well, for the last game at least against West Ham and it turned out to be a huge problem. Frank Lampard used Olivier Giroud there and you can understand why he'd select him. He's a World Cup winner, he needed to rotate. He's a good player, Giroud. Something I've always echoed on Football Therapy is I love Giroud, but he does not fit 
the profile at all of the way Frank Lampard wants to play football and that was evident in the home defeat to West Ham. Giroud was a complete passenger throughout the game until he was taken off. Sure Frank Lampard could have played Michi Batshuayi which is closer to the player profile, closer to Tammy Abraham that he wants from his striker but Batshuayi hadn't been looking too effective of late although in hindsight he'd probably been more effective than Giroud. So it's worrying how desperately important Tammy Abraham is for Chelsea but at the same time understandable how there's that issue it will take Frank Lampard to build a team and get the necessary re required personnel to have alternatives as it stands there's no real real alternative to Tammy Abraham he's integral to the attack and that's something Chelsea and Frank Lampard need to develop basically Chelsea need another striker in a similar profile to Tammy Abraham in my opinion after the match a frustrated Tammy Abraham left the stands watching on and reporter Simon Johnson spoke to him and said hi Tammy how you doing mate are you going to be fit for the Aston Villa game Tammy Abraham looked at him smiled nodded and said yes I think so pretty much indicating yeah I want to and I will be playing at that game at home against Aston Villa all but confirmed so that's really really good news for Chelsea and Chelsea fans but still the loss to West Ham pretty much did just highlight how kind of desperate things are on the centre forward position and Chelsea needs some form of alternative even if that is currently in the squad and it's just a different way to work but really toothless against West Ham when it counted. Right the final story for today is Wilfried Zaha once again. Zaha is a legitimate long-term transfer target for Chelsea. They've been probably looking at him just for a long time since he's performing in the Premier League as often scouts do but ever since you know Hazard started making noises about wanting to exit they've been looking at players of a similar profile who can carry the ball and dribble Hence why they were probably looking at Christian Pulisic and bought him and he's come in and he sort of filled a bit of a void. Obviously Chelsea are going to be suffering the exits of both Willian and Pedro before long. Certainly Pedro and probably Willian. So they need another winger there. Another thing that was evident from Chelsea's loss to West Ham was how weak having Pedro in there made them look. Pedro is a very good player. And unlike Giroud, he does fit the profile a little bit more for Chelsea in terms of his combinational play dynamism and mobility. Sure Giroud's got combinational play but not the kind Frank Lampard wants. He likes playing with one number 10 like Eden Hazard but in theory Pedro should be able to play the way Lampard wants to play. He just looked like he had no chemistry with the players. Understandable as he hasn't played with them a lot and he's getting on now a little bit Pedro. And again Chelsea needed another winger. Sure maybe in hindsight should have started Hudson-Odoi but they do need another winger. There are of course heavy links to people like Jadon Sancho as well as there are other big clubs and of course I'll keep you updated here on Football Therapy as that story progresses as Chelsea wait to hear back from Cass to hear if they can have the transfer ban lifted. But Zaha is a Premier League proven player and Chelsea have been watching him for a while. Something I've said before in these Chelsea news videos is Although Zaha looks like he underperforms in terms of offensive output, you have to create the assumption that in another team like Chelsea with more offensive coaching rather than Crystal Palace, he would do better. He's 27 years old, he could be seen as a senior figure and he has no problem with dealing with the physicality of the Premier League. Now, a reported asking price for Wilfried Zaha is £70 million. Pounds. Sounds like a lot for someone who doesn't score that many goals, but really, like I said, you can't judge him on his current output. Originally, when he saw on the new contract even a year after Crystal Palace were adamant they wanted a hundred million no less and you can kind of understand that because he keeps them in the Premier League and just being in the Premier League I think is worth like best part of 300 million so really it's what he's worth to them Crystal Palace are prepared for and kind of expecting his exit as they have been for a few transfer windows now Roy Hodgson has actually commented on a couple of occasions how he's very happy that he's here and he's helping out the team a lot but he understands that he cannot offer Wilfred Zaha Champions League football the following season or it's incredibly probable that they won't be offering Zaha Champions League football and if there's one thing the player has maintained is he wants to be playing in the Champions League and if you look at the Champions League teams generally across Europe you could say he is of Champions League quality. So Chelsea's the probable best location for him. It stays in London, Chelsea are probably the most likely to get Champions League football out of the other real suitors for him. You're talking about Arsenal, Tottenham, Man United. But do Chelsea want to spend that much money on a player that's going into his late 20s? 
I'm not sure. I think Zaha would be a bit of a meh signing for Chelsea fans, and I wonder how they'd react. If Chelsea went into next season with letting Willian go, letting Pedro go, obviously having Pulisic and hudson Adoy, and bringing in Wilfred Zaha, that's a pretty good dynamic wing option. Especially with Mount being able to play on the left as well. It's almost like four decent youngish wingers. Still, you have to think 70 million could be spent better elsewhere or on another player. But then again, Zaha could just explode in a Chelsea shirt and score a bunch of goals. Anyway, what do you guys think? I'm really keen to hear your thoughts and opinions on Wilfred Zaha. Do you think he could perform a lot better in a Chelsea shirt and score a lot of goals, get a lot of, win a lot of penalties, do a lot of dribbles? Get down in the comments below and let me know your thoughts on that. Also, would you sell Emerson for the right price? Maybe buy and Ben Chilwell and rotate Aspilicueta at left back? Maybe? Maybe? That's an interesting question. Give me your thoughts on that too. Remember, if you've enjoyed today's content, please do like the video and do subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I know I plug it every time, but go subscribe to Yan Plays and the link is in the top of the description. You can follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. And remember, you can join the Discord server if you like to talk to me about football and the rest of the gang 24-7. Uh, that link's in the Patreon link in the description too. And as my English breaks down, I'm gonna end the video. You lot enjoy the football and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chalk. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I love me, baby.